would happen? What do you think would happen? Sure. I don't know. I couldn't see. Don't lie. Answer. Don't lie. You couldn't see. You saw the replay four times. What, what happened? You fell on your leg. Thank you. Don't ask me a dumb question you don't answer to. You think it was intentional? Did you see it? Sorry, what it looked like? Times. What it looked like? Did anybody touch him? I yes or no? It. I didn't see the replay yet. Oh, you didn't see it? But no. why are you asking about something you didn't see? I just saw the well, play then, live. Well, then if you didn't see it, don't ask me a question. Don't ask me a dumb question. Obviously, it was intentional. Ask me, was it intentional? Nobody touched me, fell over my leg, trying to hurt me, you know. But hey, that's how I go. Do you think that's something the NBA needs to look into? Hey, man, they'll see it and, and look at it. You know what I'm saying? They'll see it. All right, all the things we learned from that interview. Number one, make sure you watch the game if you interview <laughs> yeah. Russell Westbrook after yeah. the game. Number two, know what you're talking about. Number three, Nick, does the NBA have a Zaza problem? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. And, don't, and listen, Golden State Hive, don't send me the Zapruder film of, of Nick Young's <laughs> knee hitting Pachulia's leg. This guy theoretically is a professional athlete. He falls a lot. That's how Durant almost blew out his knee last year. Pachulia's histrionic falling. He... He didn't need to fall that way if he needed to fall at all. He didn't need to aim his hand for Russell's crotch while falling right on Russell's legs. This guy has no place in the best league in the world. So you only None. think he should be in the league? I, I, I wish we have blackballed players for less. Why, do, why does the NBA need Zaza Pachulia? Why do the Warriors, the most talented team ever, a team with four Hall of Famers, two MVPs, the two best shooters of all time, Steve Kerr's their coach, why do they need this guy? What, what good is it? I'll tell what? you, what, look, I agree with you. First of all, he didn't even fall. He purposely fell. He, 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 I, I'm Don't saying he that. didn't have to fall. He didn't trip. He went at Westbrook. I heard Kevin Durant after the game say, oh, I looked at the replay, Nick Young's leg. No. Nonsense. He purposely went at Westbrook. It was a terrible play, terribly dirty. I think he should be suspended for a game. Sure. Send and a message, cuts. and, and the league should tell the Warriors, look, we're watching him. We got a tape. I mean, you got tapes of him hitting guys, you know, kicking guys. Ending Westbrook Kawhi's last year, he season. pushed Westbrook down, looks at him like, like he's a boxer. The... Ending Kawhi season. But th where I differ with you is that he shouldn't be in the league. Well, I, I don't I'm... know if that's hyperbole. You're joking. I'm, it's, it's none of the above. I, I don't think the NBA should kick him out for this, obviously. I'm simply saying I don't know why a team would want him. He does, he he, he gives putting... them a an intimid. He's not a tough guy. He's not scaring guys. But the fact that you don't know what he'll do, uh, that's guys that's have absurd. to think about that. That I hate. Look, he's the what? type of guy you love to have. You hate to play no, against. You don't love. Here's why you don't love to have him. A, I mentioned it already. He injured Durant last year with this nonsense. And B, you, he is going to get one of his teammates hurt in retaliation. Because if Zaza does this, guess what? They're not going after Zaza. They might go after Steph. They might go after KD. I just don't... The, we. He ended Kawhi's season, and people are, and Kawhi, by the way, hadn't been the same since. Now, I know that was an ankle injury, and there's a quad injury, but I've talked to enough doctors about the kinetic chain that when you deal with an injury to one part of your lower extremity, yeah, sometimes the rest of your body overcompensates. We don't know what that was. We saw him throw one of the dirtiest elbows in league history at now teammate David West when they were both on different teams years ago. He is a, to, to paraphrase, Dave Chappelle, a habitual line stepper. And I'm done but with here's it. here's the thing. You've had guys like this, iconic guys. Bill Lambeer was worse than that. That whole Detroit Bad Boys team, Rick Mahorn, they did. John Stockton, ass players around the league, he was viewed as one of the Agreed. dirtiest, if not the dirtiest player in the league. I'm not saying I like what he does. I'm just saying... We don't kick him out of league. Here's the difference between what you're describing and Zaza. First, you mentioned three guys on the Pistons. They were called the bad boy Pistons. They were considered a dirty team, and the league was different. Then you mentioned John Stockton. Absolutely no question. One of the dirtiest screen setters ever. That guy was also, also awesome at basketball. He was a great one of the... So because he's not a star, he shouldn't be in the league? That's, it, what the, that's why he's in the league. It, exactly <laughs> my point. If your only reason for having a roster spot is you get a, your team gets a mental edge because other players are afraid you might intentionally injure them, why be out there? 
What? Do, do, do we have guys in the NFL? It's like, listen, the guy's not fast enough to get to the quarterback. He's a bad player. No, they but do we, in hockey. But they're enforcers. They do, in they do it in yeah, hockey. Yeah, but this ain't hockey. Exactly. But you just said, do they do it in football? They don't do it in football. No, they but, do do it in hockey. Does a guy like this come out there and all of a sudden... Like you said, does it even give you a 5% mental edge? If he, was like worthless, if he was worthless otherwise, he wouldn't He's be starting worthless. on our, one of the best, best teams, teams we've ever league. seen. He starts to take the tip. He then plays 12 minutes, gets two fouls, two cheap shots, and he's done. The, you, the know Warriors that, you know you yeah. know. Should the Warriors need him? They have Javale Why do they have here. him? I, maybe because they got a bunch of soft guys and they need this guy there. Well, Draymond's not it, soft. No, no, Draymond's not KD soft. actually is looking a lot tougher than I ever <laughs> thought he was. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. That's real, but that's probably unfair. They shouldn't need him. Yeah, Golden State, you're the Would they be okay now. without him? Probably. I mean, you're not playing JaVale McGee 30 minutes a night, that's for sure. But look, they know what they're doing. And, and it's not just for the middle age. That's part of it. But it's not just for that. I think the guy gives them some. I, I'm just like suspend him, let the lead, let the Warriors know we're watching you. And if you do stuff like this again, it's gonna get worse and worse. But you can't just kick but him out of the league. But he's done stuff like this. So is the league doing enough to get rid of guys like this? Because there are. Uh, it's, it's, I just want to be clear. It's not guys like this. It's, it's this, this guy. guy. He's the single dirtiest player in the league. He he went after Kawhi and it worked. He tried. What if he broke Russell's ankle? No, I I, I I'm, the I'm with you. The guy's 260 pounds. It's, it's a terrible play. Falling on him like That's a why there should be some type of suspension. And will there be, or are we past the point where the league would look? at I it think now? they may look at it, and because now there's such a hubbub about it, uh, I think they may suspend him. The, hey, the, the, there has to be a line, man. And the line uh, right now is Zaza Pachulia. He plays on the most high-profile team. He has nothing in common skill-wise, basketball-wise, of anyone else out there. But All he's, he's out there is to set dirty screens and to do things like this. He's, he got, he's a good, I mean, he's a basketball player. He's an NBA-caliber basketball player. He is player. a replacement-level guy that if he went down for the year today, you would How's not. How's he starting All on right, the best guys. team in the league? Because they, they, they don't have the money for a real center. Chris, Say, if he was injured one second Jen if he was injured for the year today would that change your opinion on the Warriors being able to win the title no but that okay. doesn't mean he's worthless all right I, I could say that about half their roster all right I, half their roster is not doing this it's not doing this it's bad for the league man say it with it's me. bad for the league we're used to be a lot we're you agree young, to disagree you the, the, how it used to be coming up it's been so many minutes since the Super Bowl we're still talking football Des Bryant speaking out about